Conjunctivitis, often referred to casually as pink eye. Conjunctivitis is the swelling or inflammation of the conjunctiva, which is thin, transparent layer of tissue that lines the inner surface of the eyelid and covers the white part of the eye. There are three main types of conjunctivitis, allergic, infectious and chemical. The cause of conjunctivitis varies depending on the type. Number one, allergic conjunctivitis occurs more commonly among people who already have seasonal allergies. They develop it when they come into contact with a substance that triggers an allergic reaction in their eyes. It is not contagious. Allergic pink eye makes your eyes very itchy, red and watery. Number two, viral conjunctivitis is the most common type of pink eye. It is caused by the same virus that causes the common cold. It can develop through exposure to the coughing or sneezing of someone with an upper respiratory tract infection. This conjunctivitis is very contagious and often spreads through schools and other crowded places. It usually causes burning red eyes with a watery discharge. Number 3. Bacterial conjunctivitis is an infection most often caused by staphylococcal or streptococcal bacteria from your own skin or respiratory system. Bacterial conjunctivitis is also very contagious. With bacterial conjunctivitis, you have so red eyes with a lot of sticky pus. Number 4. Chemical conjunctivitis can be caused by irritants like air pollution, chlorine in swimming pools and exposure to noxious chemicals. Moving towards the symptoms. Symptoms vary with the causes discussed above. Allergic symptoms include clear, watery discharge along with mild redness, itching sometimes, severe, may or may not occur. With bacterial infections, there is typically minimal pain but a possibly dramatic appearance with moderate redness and almost always a yellow to green discharge, sometimes extreme. This discharge can also make the eyelids red and swollen and can attach itself to the eyelashes for a crusty appearance. Bacterial infections can be more severe in patients that wear contact lenses. Viral infections can also cause moderate redness and are usually painful. The pain is typically a sandy gritty feel like something may be in the eye. There can also be a moderate to severe light sensitivity. Dear viewers, now let us discuss the treatment for conjunctivitis. So treating conjunctivitis has three main goals. Number one, increase patient comfort. Number two, reduce or lessen the course of the infection or inflammation. Number three, prevent the spread of the infection in contagious forms of conjunctivitis. The appropriate treatment for conjunctivitis depends on its causes. Number one, allergic conjunctivitis. The first step is to remove or avoid the irritant if possible. Cool compressors and artificial tears sometimes relieve discomfort in mild cases. In more severe cases, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications and antihistamines may be prescribed. People with persistent allergic conjunctivitis may also require topical steroid eye drops. Oral antihistamines may also be prescribed. Bacterial conjunctivitis is usually treated with antibiotic eye drops or ointments. Bacterial conjunctivitis may improve after 3 or 4 days of treatment, but patients need to take the entire course of antibiotics to prevent a recurrence. Viral conjunctivitis, no drops or ointments can treat viral conjunctivitis. Antibiotics will not cure a viral infection. Like a common cold, the virus has to run its course which may take up to two or three weeks. Symptoms can often be relieved with cool compresses and artificial tear solutions. For the worst cases, topical steroid drops may be prescribed to reduce the discomfort from inflammation. With so many causes, there is no one preventive measure. Early diagnosis and treatment will help prevent the condition from becoming worse, avoiding all allergy triggers as much as possible also helps. Frequent hand washing and keeping hands away from eyes also can make a difference even when no problems are present. So dear viewers that was all about conjunctivitis. I hope you find this video informative but still if you have any queries you can write them down in the comment section below. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe to pharmacy d by asim and keep watching our channel for more informative stuff thank you